All right guys, Darren from FBA Elite and welcome back to another video. So in last week's video, as you can see here, I talked about how one of my products had generated around 7,000 pound in sales but hadn't actually made any profit. And it was an important video as it gave you guys an insight as to what can happen when you're selling on Amazon and also some of the steps you can take if a product isn't profitable when you do start selling. Now off the back of that video, one of my friends texts me to ask if I was actually still making any money on Amazon. Well, the good news is, well, the good news is for me, yes, I am, and it is still possible to make money on Amazon. So what I wanna do in this video is show you one of my more profitable products to give you guys an idea of how potentially just one product selling, I would say, averagely well on Amazon can really potentially have life-changing impacts, or if not life-changing impacts, it can certainly have a big impact on the money in your life. And before I do, just a quick note to anyone that currently sells on Amazon at the moment, there is something I want to go over on the dashboard as I've seen something pop up in the past couple of days What I want to get feedback from from other people to see if you're experiencing a similar issue. But I'll come back to that at the end of the video. So if you're an existing seller, make sure you stick around for that as I want to go over that and see what you guys think. So back to the product I want to go through in this video. This is one of my more profitable products and has been selling well for a couple of years as well. And what we've got here is the sales report from within Amazon. Now the formatting is a bit broken because the code behind this table that Amazon use is absolutely shocking. You know, I think I've mentioned before, I used to run a web design business, I used to code this type of thing. So I have no idea why they're using the techniques they are, but either way, that's why this looks a bit broken. So I don't wanna to get too much into that. But the one I want you to focus on is this product here. Um, you can see here of this product I've sold 448 units and that was between the 24th of August and the 23rd of September. So basically the past month I've sold 448 units. Now this product is selling profitably. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up a profit calculator that I've been working on recently. I'm going to talk you through the figures so you guys can see how I calculate the profit margins to give you an idea of some of the things you need to take into account and working out whether the products you're looking at will make you money or not. So let me just bring up the calculator that I've got available. I think that's probably the best place to put it. So I've got OBS over here, which is why I'm looking to the right, and then on the left, I've got Excel. So I'm gonna be looking between the two, so don't worry about where I'm looking, just focus on this calculator. So the first thing we need to do is put in the unit cost. So my unit cost for this particular product is five pound and three pence. Now, number of units from looking at the sales, we know we sold 448 over the past month. My customs duty percentage for this product is 5.5%, and I've shown you in other videos how to look that up. If you're unsure, let me know in the comments and I'll link you to that video. Now, if you're not sure, you can always use 5% as a general guide as that is a very common figure for a lot of products, but it's always worth double checking if you're serious about a product. Now, the freight forwarder, that will vary from shipment to shipment, so for this, shipment in particular, I imported, I think it was 2,200 products, 1,000 products for another product and 1,200 for this particular product. So if that cost me, I think it was just over 4,000 pounds. So I've sold less than a quarter of that stock. Um, so I would say that probably around 900 pound of that fee really kind of is applicable to that amount of inventory. So I'm gonna put 900 pound there. The FBA referral fee I have got at 15.3%. Now that can vary depending on what category you're in, but a lot of the categories do share this same figure. But if you are serious about a product, make sure you double check all of these figures. So that figure will automatically calculate in a moment once I put in the selling price. And the fulfillment fee is based on the size and dimensions of your product. So I've looked that up and that's £2.65. So I'm currently selling this product at 27.99 which is a decent price to be selling at when you're only sourcing at five pound per unit, but the profit margin isn't as generous as that. So let me just take you through. Uh, firstly, we're gonna look at the PPC spend. So this particular campaign, which I was have running for this product at the moment, this cost me uh, 514 pounds and 82 P. So that's excluding that, and that's why I take that into account in the calculator. So we go back to the calculator there and put in 514 pound 82. And I've got some fields down here which automatically calculate the VAT. So you can see as soon as I change the PPC, this amount of VAT increased. We've also got the storage and free PL fee. So if we go to inventory planning within Amazon, you can see here in August, you paid £50.66 in FBA storage fees. But I also have a free PL as well. And I think I paid around £350 or so. So if we say £400 overall for storage fees and free PL services for the month, 
but this is only for half of the products I was moving about. So I'm gonna half that fee in total, I'm gonna put in 200 pound as storage fees. So these aren't exact figures in terms of what I'm inputting, but it will certainly give me a general idea of what the overall figure is. It might be out by a few pound here or there, but generally speaking, I'm just looking for a top level figure to make sure my products are about where I want them to be. So the customs duty automatically calculated based on the customs duty percent you put at the top. The import VAT is reclaimable. If you're not VAT registered, I'll have another calculator for this as well. Now this FBA bit here is new for this calculator and it isn't actually available in the free version. This is gonna be available in the course uh, once I finish updating this calculator, but I'll show you the free version later in the video. You've got all the VAT there as well and the output VAT, which is how much VAT you're actually charging on this 27.99 price point. So overall, I'm making £7.37 per sale, which gives me an overall profit of £3,300 for selling one product for one month. And that's with an ROI of about 82%. So I think my overall investment cost is, yeah, there we go, £9.2 is how much I'm investing when you take into account the unit cost, plus your shipping fees, plus your PPC, plus your storage fees, everything like that. That's what my landing cost is nine pound and two. So my return on investment is 82%, which isn't a too bad a place to be. Generally speaking, you want to aim for about 100% ROI, but actually achieving that or above is very difficult. Somewhere between 70 to 80% is a more than acceptable figure at the moment, especially considering the crazy high shipping fees we are seeing. So hopefully that gives you guys an idea of the sort of money you could make with a product that I, like I said earlier in the video, this only sells averagely well. This is by no means the best selling product within the niche and it's by no means the best product that I've ever developed, but it is selling well and it does make good profit. So for many people, this could potentially replace your salary, but if you do do that, I would not advise you to quit your job until you've diversified your income more than just Amazon. But hopefully it gives you an idea of the sort of thing you can expect if you do have a successful FBA product selling on Amazon. So if you want a free copy, a basic version of this profit calculator, you can go to fbaelite.com, go to the resource section. It's completely free to sign up. You also got the forums on there if you're not already a member. Go to the resource section. And if you look down here, we should be able to see it. There we go, the profit calculator with and without VAT. Like I say, I've worked on a more advanced version, which is within the course. And this latest version here, I'm gonna to update to the course as well. And if the course is something of interest, I'll show you that later in the video as well. But going back to this dashboard, which I talked about at the very start of the video. So if you're selling on Amazon at the moment, one thing that you've probably noticed is this buy box percentage at the top. You're probably thinking if you're an FBA seller, why isn't this 100% all the time? And you're right to think that because the only time you shouldn't really have the buy box at 100% is if someone hijacks your listing and someone else has got the buy box. But what I've been noticing probably since this actually appeared within the dashboard, is this rarely says 100%, it normally says like 98, 95 or 90. But one thing I've noticed in particular over the last 48 hours is this has really started dropping down to kind of 40, 50, 60%. So I'm seeing some very strange figures and I've been on the Amazon seller forums and some other people are seeing the same things. And the reason that is concerning me is if we go back to my PPC campaign, you can see that the product has been selling really well consistently with a low ACOS. So a 12% ACOS on average for the past month all of a sudden, this ACOS, which is the orange line, jumped up to 21% two days ago, and yesterday jumped up to 42%. So there is currently a conversion issue with that product, and that's why the ACOS has shot up, because the spend is consistent. You can see here I'm still spending around £10 a day, which is the blue line for this product. I don't need much PPC to keep this product going, as the organic ranks are really good. So there's currently a conversion issue with this product, and the only correlation I can find is this buy box percentage being lower than it usually would be. So I'm hoping this is just some sort of Amazon quirk or some sort of bug within their algorithm. Um, I've looked in the niche, there's no new competitors. I've looked through the reviews, there's no new negative reviews. So there's no real reason why this product should be selling any less than it has done previously because it sells this, this rate consistently for the past few months, actually for the past couple of years. So that's why I wanted to bring this up. So if you're experiencing something similar, if your ACOS has suddenly shot up, if your sales have suddenly slowed down over the past two days, Check your dashboard, to see what your buy box win percentage is. Is it at 70% or lower? If it's below 80%, you're probably gonna be experiencing the same bug that I'm going through, because I've seen this as low as 40 or 50%, whereas generally speaking, I'd expect to see this well above 80 or 90%, despite the fact most of the time it's at 100%, it's just these stats don't really report it that well. So it's certainly something I wanna hear from you guys about. Let me know in the comments, or alternatively, go to fbaelite.com, sign up and make a post on the forums. 
If you're interested in the course I mentioned earlier, make sure you click the course link. That will tell you everything that's included in the FBA Elite course, um, tell you everything you need to know to get your Amazon FBA business started as soon as possible. So what I'll do now in front of me, I'll pop up two videos. The first one will be a link to last week's video talking you through the product that is currently selling really well but not making any profit and some of the steps I'm taking to try to rectify that. And the other one will be to a video showing you guys how to find out the custom duty classification code for your product.